And alcohol has been cited as one of the hurdles in fighting alcoholism in central Kenya. This is according to the Central Kenya Regional Commissioner Frederick Shisia, who said that most of the manufacturers play hide and seek games with the government by setting up two production lines where one is compliant while the other does not comply to the regulations. <laughs> wanahusika katika utengenezaji wa second generation liquor wako na faces mara mbili face ya kwanza wako na production lines ambazo zinalipa ushuru na face ya pili kuna production line ambayo wanafanyia nyum, ndani ya manyumba zao ya yeah. hawazingatii vipimo na viwango ambavyo vimewekwa na serikali pia hawalipi ushuru so kwa upande mmoja wanajitokeza kama wanafanya biashara halali na kwa upande mwingine hawafanyi biashara halali unapata wengi wao hata hizi bidhaa zao wakitoa utapata kwa depot zao mbele wame display genuine products lakini nyuma nyingi ni products ambazo ziko counterfeit and um, hawa ambao wanahusika wengi wao ni matajiri na they are in a form of cartels. Uh, they will stop at nothing. Wanajua namna ya kuweza ku compromise systems ili waweze kuwa supported kujiendeleza katika biashara. Kini tumezunguza na maafisa wetu uh, wa National Police Service, National Government Administration, uh, KEBS, KRA, uh, anti counterfeit um, na tumesikizana ya kwamba approach ile tunatumia ni ile tunaita multi agency approach and the High Court will give directions on whether the body of former President Mwai Kibaki will be exhumed to collect samples for a DNA test on the 28th of this month. Two individuals who claim to be former President Mwai Kibaki's children have told the court that exhumation is the only option left for, to prove paternity.